Thanks for checking out my System.io community tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create a community in System.io. It's very easy to do and if you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment and simply try System for free and follow along for free as well. Let's begin. So I just want to go on record first by stating their community feature is so easy to use and I think it's for the fact that it's a little basic. You know, that might be a good thing or a bad thing depending on what you're looking for, but allow me to walk you through and I'll give you some ideas too because overall it's probably going to be pretty quick. So let's give it a name. In this example, I'm going to do something like... Alright, so I have Marketing Island System Tutorial za okay? And when we click right here, it's naturally going to use what you created there. So we could do something like this to make it look a little bit better. This is going to be the URL path, just so you know. Aside from that, we have our domain name. I'm just going to keep it basic like this. And we have the automatic post approval. So you can do enabled or disabled. Probably start with enabled unless you get a lot of people in here and they start spamming anything and everything. Then you might want to turn on the, uh, you know, the disabled section. So let's Let's click on save right here. And just like that, we have completed it. We are done. Have a nice day. Just kidding. <laughs> There's actually not too much more to do. So we have created it. There is going to be the ability if you ever wanted to delete it, it's going to be right here. I just want to show you that in case you're just not sure how to do it. Viewing it, obviously, and then of course settings, which we can edit once we're in there. Speaking of that, let's click on it right here to enter. All right, and so here we are. We have a few sections that we can go over first. So we have members, we have settings, and we have topic. This is where we write something. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's start off with settings first right here. All right, so this is going to be the name, the URL path, which we already set up. This is going to be a little bit of a banner. So I do have a logo that I'm probably just going to crop. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to click on choose file. All right, and so this is the image that I'm using and it's obviously a little bit, I don't think we can use all of it. Let's see how big we can make it. Yeah, so not this is the pretty much the, the biggest it can be. If I had one, I would just make it a little bit smaller and use that. So I'm just gonna do this as an example just to kind of show what it would look like. So that's gonna be a little bit of a banner there. Then of course you can do private or you can do public. So anyone can view and join your community. Probably be a lot easier if you do it that way. However, you might get some random people in there. Maybe if they stumble upon the link, really up to you. But I will also show you how to invite someone if needed, but I'm gonna keep it on public now. And then once again, we had this before, automatic post approval. I'm just gonna keep it on enabled. If you want to disable it, you can do it here as well. Let's click on save. Okay, so that's been saved. Let's go on over to the member section right here. Okay, and so far, it's just gonna be you when you create it. It has my email there, that's why I'm just gonna blur that off. There's also gonna be banned members, so if you did wanna ban any, that's gonna be where you can uh, slam the bam hammer, as kids say nowadays, something crazy like that. Uh, search member's name, this is how you invite new people, so I'm gonna click right here. And if you wanna invite someone, simply type in their email, and of course you can send them an invite like this. This is gonna be how you can do that. It's pretty straightforward. This is gonna be beneficial, especially if it's a, a private community. This is a way of doing that, but ideally you probably would just wanna use public. I think that's gonna be the best way of going about it, but if you wanna invite them, this is how it's done. All right, so now we are back at our home section. And before we begin, I just wanna start creating some topics. Creating topics is important because ideally, whenever you post something, you're gonna to need to put it in a topic. So make sure you do this section first, okay? In fact, I'll show you right here. If you go to create something and say like add post, I believe it's not gonna do it, let's just see, just because you don't have a specific topic. So that is the reason why I am saying to do that. So if you do add post, it says this value should not be blank. So just letting you know the reasoning for creating topics first, it won't let you post that. So let's do uh, topics right here. So for this one, let's just do misc, like miscellaneous. This could be anything that's like welcome, hi, how you doing, congratulations, thanks for signing up, anything that's just out of the ordinary, like, okay, add topic. Now, given the fact this is an example, let's say this would be a community where I showcase a STEM tutorials. What I could do for a tutorial section could be say like email marketing, anything email marketing related. And I noticed when you go in here, it automatically just populates and does it for you. So you don't have to retype it. So let's do add topic. Let's say we have another one. This could be landing pages. Okay, once again, click here, auto populate. Let's say we have another one. We could do, you know, website related. Okay, let's do add topic. Let's just do one more. You don't have to do a ton of them, but if you know you're gonna be creating uh, specific content about topics, it's just easier to do that in. Okay, so we have a bunch right here. Here are gonna be the topics. 
Now what we can do is just write something. So let's say this is gonna be the welcome post. Okay, and a topic once again, this is why we did this. This could be miscellaneous, just kind of random stuff. And for this, let me give you a quick example of what you could put for something when it comes to welcoming people to your community. All right, and so I do have a post here, but what I wanna do is just post it very quickly to show you what it's gonna look like. Let's do add post, and I can do show more right here just to kind of give you an idea. So when you click on it, it's gonna pop up like this. So, hey, hey, glad you washed up on the shores of the sandy digital paradise. I'm just gonna kind of skim through what you can expect, step-by-step -step tutorials that don't require a PhD, quick wins. This is just kind of a basic welcome post, right? Don't need to dissect it too much. There's the ability to give it a thumbs up. You can comment just like, say, if you were on Facebook, Facebook. In fact, it's very similar to that, just like a Facebook post, right? So let's do that. Something else you can do, as you can see, if you want to pin it, you can pin it to home or you can pin it to the specific topic, okay? There's also going to be this if you want to remove it or edit it. So let's get a little bit more clever when it comes to creating posts because, like I said, not too much else that you really need to do or worry about right here. So once again, let's do a new post. Let's write something. Let's see. All right, so for this, I put my most in-depth system.io tutorial. A little bit too much going there. Let's do like uh, tutorial, make it a little bit shorter. Okay, so for this, this one, let's say, is going to be digital marketing. Now for this, what we can do is actually put some content in here. So what I did is actually grab some links for some of the content that I've created. Let's say we wanted to do the digital store one. I'm gonna do this. And we can also use YouTube videos. So I can go right here, I can paste the link and do confirm. Aside from that, we do have some emojis here that you can use if you want. There's attachments, so like files, we have our YouTube video. There's gonna be a GIF section here too if you wanna search for that. And then there's gonna be microphone. When I click on it, it opens like it's gonna get an attachment. I'm not sure if it should do that or the fact that I'm already using a microphone is stopping me from, but that's just been my experience. This is going to be some of the content. This is the content. All right, so this is the content, AKA one of my most in-depth system tutorials so far. Enjoy, let me know if you have any questions. This is just kind of me putting in filler there, just so you can see what it looks like with the video and text. Okay, so let's do add post. Okay, so what we can do is click right here. All right, so here is gonna be this specific post. And as you can see, it's gonna work a little bit differently. So what you have to do is click on it right here. And this is gonna allow you to actually click on play and have it go. It's gonna talk over me, we don't need that. So that's gonna be how anyone can actually, who wants to watch it, can do that. This is gonna be the content, once again, that we have used. And of course, they can X out of it. So say if this is your biggest, most popular post, what you can do right here is say like pin to home. And just like that, this is gonna be the pin post. So I can also reload it. All right, and so I quickly reloaded it. And as you can see, this is gonna be the pinned post right here. If you did wanna unpin it, you can do that, but everything else is gonna follow underneath it. Ideally, if you have a post that is very popular, whether it's gonna be a free gift, a tutorial, something that's of value, a bonus video, ideally you'd wanna put that at the top so more people can see it, get value out of it, and then of course the chances are higher that they're gonna stick around because if they have one piece of content that they really like, they're probably gonna be looking for a lot more of it that they can also you know, digest as well. And really, there's not too much more when it comes to creating a community in System.io. So a lot of this setup is very easy to do. There's just a few important things that you wanna remember, like making sure you do the topics first, then creating a post. And obviously, what you put in here is gonna be based upon your specific niche, your topic, and so on and so forth. And something else I do wanna point out, if you click on communities right here, this is gonna be a section where if you do have multiple communities, they're gonna be right here. That's how you can actually go about checking them out and seeing what they look like. We can go back here. And that's gonna be the community. Once again, it's all coming full circle. And that is gonna wrap up the system.io community tutorial. I hope that it was very easy for you to follow along. Not only that, that I maybe gave you some insight that you can use when it comes to creating your free community inside of system.io. If you got any value out of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And of course, if you haven't gotten the test out system, you can click the link down below in the description to do so. Plus, everything that I showed you in this video, you can do using a free plan with system.io, so that's always a great thing. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.